Hello and welcome back. Today's video is going to be the bought and forgot tag. I think it's a tag. Um, I was tagged by Hello Jerry. Um, I will link her channel down below. I have seen this bought and forgot before. I think I've seen it on Casey Holmes' channel. And what it is, is just you go through your collection and like a few of us, I'm sure, you have products that you've not even touched basically since you bought them. And what this tag is all about is digging those products out and testing them out and if you like them to actually start using them and if you don't like them at least now you know and you can get rid of it so yeah it's just digging out products that haven't had much love so I thought this would be a good way as well because I am on the spending ban I thought this is definitely another way I can get in and start really going and using up some products so I'm going to show you the products that I have um, yeah, quite a few of these have barely been touched. So, I'll start with the lip products. The first is this lip gloss from Bare Minerals and it is in Puff Pastry. And it's just quite a nice neutral kind of daytime lip gloss. It comes with a little brush applicator and it is a nice one to pop over the top of other lipsticks. As you can see there, it is quite neutral. Hopefully it's showing up okay. Um, I have the box light up and running because it's late in the evening. So hopefully you can see that. That's just quite a neutral lip gloss with a lot of shimmer. The second lip product is from Too Faced and it is Drop Dead Red. Oh, I should probably say I got this as a free gift with purchase. So I didn't go out to buy this but I got it free and I need to decide if I actually want it or if I'm going to get rid of it and pass it on to a friend. This next one, as I said, is Too Faced and it's Drop Dead Red and I've had this for a while. I did actually get it in a sale for, I don't know, only a few pounds and I've not really used it. I think I used it once and I thought it made my teeth look yellow. So it's this colour. It is quite red but it's definitely got a sort of pinky undertone to it. Uh, a deep pink undertone. It's quite nice actually now I've swatched it again. So I'll probably be definitely using that. Now that's it for lips. For cheeks, I have this Me 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 highlighter block. It's a shimmer stack in pink zest. So it's along the same ideas as the Bobbi Brown, you know, that every brand seems to do. So you have light all the way through to pink, this pink at the top. I think these two colours don't seem to be particularly shimmery and the shimmer seems to be at more this end. Um, it's fine, I have used it before and just never really get around to using it very much. So I am going to try and dig it out and see if I do actually like it. Because I haven't really given it a th bit of a thorough testing at all. Mm. The next is the Love Affair highlight. I've barely used this. It is a cross between a gold and a pink highlight. I don't know if you can see it there. It's nice, I've just never really used it. So I want to dig it out more and try and use it a bit more instead of just my Elizabeth Arden Rose Illuminator. So I might try this out instead. Now I have quite a few cream products for my eyes. Oh, excuse me. I have one more product. It is the Java Rice Powder from Bourjois. I've had this for a while and I have used it a wee bit, but I'm not entirely sure on it to be honest. So yeah, I wanted to pull this out and, and try it. I keep bypassing it for other products, so I want to try this out a bit more and decide if I want it or if I want to bin it. Or pass it on to someone else, I should say. Now, more products that I've barely touched. I have some cream products for eyes. The first is this Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion and it is in Greed, so it's a goldy one. And I've really never used this. I think I've used it maybe once, quite a while ago. It seems to be, the product seems to still be good. So, but it is a real yellow gold. See there? So I have never really used this very much. I just forget about it. So, it's probably appropriate for this tag. The next is another primer, and it is in Chroma Violet from Bare Minerals. So it's one of their prime time, prime time eyelid primers. Chroma Violet and it's quite a dark purple 
and again I have used it a few times possibly just after I bought it and then proceeded to forget all about it because it got buried so yeah I just do a wee swatch there it's quite a nice dark purple now this is a product from Lush and it's in Wise and I think I've used this once I'm really bad I have some favourites that I clearly go back to all of the time and then I do mix it up with some other products but I just never reach for all of them particularly often and it is this real nice mossy green and while it's still winter time it is a good time to be wearing this so I will be digging it out and adding it to my various weekly makeup baskets now from oh yes B Cosmetics this is the B Stunning Vibrant Eye Shimmer and it is in dust till dusk till dawn not dust till dawn dusk till dawn and it is this sort of lilac-y violet -y sort of shade it is quite creamy and um, it's almost slightly spongy feeling actually so yeah again I used it maybe once or twice after I bought it and I'm not sure if I was too fussed on it but it got buried in a drawer anyway so I need to decide if I want to keep it. You can sort of see it there. It's quite a light shade. You can see it's hard to get the pigmentation off with your finger. So I need to investigate it and see if I can find a better way of using it and actually get some use out of it or pass it on. Now you will laugh when you see this one. This is a product. So I have one other product that hasn't been used. That's the Bare Minerals Lip Gloss. But this product has not been used at all. I searched high and low for this colour. It is the light in purple uh, Maybelline colour tattoo. And I just loved the look of the colour. I looked and looked and looked. And I eventually found it great. You can see I have never used it. I j oh, I'm so annoyed to myself. So it is this beautiful dual. Oh, let me see. I have a clean finger. Oh, first step on the video. You can see it is a blue purple kind of shade. It's kind of one of those dual tone shades. That's it there. And I will actually be adding this to my weekly makeup basket. You will have already seen. I've added it to this week up this week's makeup basket to try and use it and decide what to do with it and if I want to keep it, etc. And the final item I have here, it's from e.l.f. And it's one of their pressed mineral eyeshadows. And it is in Wild, uh, Wine Tour. Excuse me. This is another one that hasn't been used. What a disgrace. So let me see if I have a clean finger. A clean thumb. And that. God, what a bad place to do a swatch. Silly Onya. It's this nice, actually, mauve kind of purple with gold shimmery flecks in it, just there. And I would like to decide if I like that. Just feels slightly chalky, but it, this is the whole point of this. I'm going to test it out and see if I like it or not. So this week, I will have added some of these into my makeup basket, which you will have already seen. And that is it. If you are doing the... Uh, bought and forgot tag let me know or if you're just doing this and you're trying to use products let me know that'll be cool um this is in no way any kind of boasting video as as you know i'm saying i've got these products and i forgot all about them it's not one of those it's just i really want to test these products out a bit more thoroughly and decide if i should keep them or not my stash doesn't need to be the size it is i know i don't have the biggest makeup collection at all but it's enough for me it really is um yeah so that is it I would like to tag everybody. If you've watched this, you do it and let me know. I'm not going to tag anybody specifically. Well, I might. Check the down bar. If your name is there, I've tagged you. Go do it. Um, I'll probably just tag Rebecca Lately and Rouge Pout and Carrie from Cosmos World. Who has? Oh, it's M. Emma from it's um it used to be meet the millards but she now has a new channel i'll link her down below go and 
have a look at that. I'll probably try and link all the channels I've just mentioned, but there are just a handful. If you've watched this and you've heard your name, please do the video and let me know down below. And that is it. So I will keep you up to date. I will try and do this on a sort of monthly basis. So I will let you know how I get on each month with the products that I've named. And yeah, that's it. Definitely this time. So thank you very, very much for watching. Please like if you like. Please subscribe if you like. And I'll see you in my next video.